you know, I read uh, an article that somebody said, what is Kumuyi looking for again? What's Adeboe looking for again? What's Redepo looking for again? Haven't they done enough? Shouldn't they just go and rest? I wish I knew the people that wrote that article. And I'm talking to all the ministers and professionals all over the world, those who are connected with us this morning. Whenever we come to learn, it is not what we hear that moves us forward. It is what we do with what we hear. It is how we act on what we hear. It is what we give expression and action to in what we hear that moves us forward. And there is something, a wind blowing, and it's blowing across the Christian church that you cannot find Elijah's today that will challenge the population, challenge the church, challenge the ministry, and say enough is enough. And I come to tell you this morning, enough is enough. Amen. Enough of doubting, enough of unbelief, enough of vacillating, enough of moving here and there. Today, we're rising up. Amen. We're going to take this land, this nation, this continent, the world, like a storm. We're going to be champions in our day. I don't know about you, I'm going to be a champion. You know, I read um, an article that somebody said, what is Kumuyi looking for again? What's Adeboe looking for again? What's Redepo looking for again? Haven't they done enough? Shouldn't they just go and rest? I wish I knew. The people that wrote that article, I'll sit them down and I'll say, Moses ministered until his last breath. And Joshua ministered until his last breath. And Christ, our Savior, our model, our example, ministered until his last breath. And Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, he ministered until his last breath. And I'm still just starting. <laughs> Everything the Lord ordained that I will accomplish. And I pass it on to you. Everything the Lord ordained. I, I know the young people are there. The land is vast. The population is great. And I give the baton to them. I'm not going to, you know, throw up my hands and say, now I am tired. Do I look like a tired man? No. Never. Until I do all that the Lord has called me and commanded me to do establish holiness in the land establish peace in the land follow peace and holiness with all men and then it says without that holiness no one will see the lord i'm not about to shut up on holiness on sanctification on purity if I'm going to be an Elijah, I know what the Lord has called me to do. And he has said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Lord. And we're not uh, giving up, we're not saying because, you know, we have can, we have a respected chairman, we have all the blocks. Therefore, when I come now, uh, come on, you be careful what you say, can is here can will have to rise up and run after me because we're no more vacillating between two opinions we know that god is god 
and we're going to serve this God of heaven.